Well, of course, our uh, interest in this matter is naturally to ensure the r safe return of Dr. Herimov. But so far as a compromise is concerned, there has been and there will be no compromise. <laughs> to say to influence your decision except again to beg you to consider the tragic consequences of carrying out your threat. So that, that I forgive them, but, but I, I understand the problem they are in now. I can't forgive them for doing this, but I understand that they are in a real problem. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, 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 Galileo Mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. Be eligible as a devil put aside for me, for me, for me. are waiting, hopefully, but I imagine vainly, for a helicopter to land here on the roof of the American Embassy in the middle of Saigon and take them to safety. But they have no papers, they've just come here because the whole embassy is wide open, they've come up the stairs, they're in fact on the chopper pad, no helicopter would probably land under these circumstances.
for a safe place. Two. Don't hurry, stop and wait. Three. Look all around and listen before you cross the road. Remember, Four. let all the traffic pass you. Five. Then walking straight across you. Six, keep walking. That's the safe cross code. Safe place, stop and wait. Safe place, stop and wait. Safe ground, look around. Listen for a traffic sound. If traffic's coming, let it pass until the road is clear at last. Then walking straight across the road. Keep watching, that's the code. Remember, One. look for a safe place. Two. Don't hurry, stop and wait. Three. Look all around and listen before you cross the road. Remember, Four. let all the traffic past you. Five. Then walking straight across you. Six, keep watching. That's the safe cross code. That's the safe cross code. Know the safe cross code. Know the code. I mentioned already that there was no animosity remaining in me, and I'm satisfied not in Charlie Hawley as against me. Uh, he has, as I indicated, given his personal undertaking that he fully supports and is committed to Fianna Foy party policy. When you're lonely When you're blue When you need someone to talk to When you need a talking to and when trouble is falling... The person is only justified in having power if they use it. I have absolutely no time for people who seek power, get power, and then are quite content with the trappings. And I'm afraid there is a fair amount of that. Ladies and gentlemen... together as colleagues for the things in which we believe. There is much to do, and I hope you will allow me time to do it thoughtfully and well. deeply regret to announce the death of the former president of Ireland, Eamon de Valera. He had been ill for some time with a heavy cold and had grown steadily weaker over the past few days. At Mr. de Valera's bedside when he died just before noon in Linden Nursing Home, Black Rock County, Dublin, were all the members of his family, one of whom said he died peacefully.
so don't forget it. It's just a silly phase I'm going through. And just because I call you up, don't get me wrong. I think it shows also that the policy which um, we believe in pursuing in these positions is right, which is you're generous with patience and generous with nothing else. I think that it will take a long time before the Catholic community forgets the impact of internment and the horror that it brought with it. But I think now the road is beginning to clear. We can begin to take the first tentative steps towards bringing about peace and recon reconciliation, which is so desperately needed in Northern Ireland. Actually, we were just having a, some tea, and uh, the next thing I do is I heard the brakes go on very fits, and I assume it may be in a, something on the railway line, like a cap or something like that. And the next thing I did it was a, just, just kept banging, banging, banging. I felt a sort of chugging in the um, carriage. I thought it was just a normal sort of pulling as you go along in a train. Uh, then the train stopped, seemed to stop, and it was crashing all about, and it seemed to slide and uh, people start screaming. I don't suppose I can speak very much for the rest of the world, but I would say, looking at Ireland, that our greatest problem is the problem of loneliness. And this loneliness means that you really have nobody with whom to share the things that hurt most or affect you most deeply in your life. Virtually nothing now in the line of education of emotions, and yet we are, to such a great percentage, we are emotional beings. And I think it's extraordinary that there's nothing being done to train these emotions. to untangle the, the web uh, of causation in understanding the, the uh, fear of flying. But uh, I think it's important to say that, uh, that a there's a basic biological fear of heights in all immature animals, whether it's babies or small animals, uh, and we have to learn to overcome this as we're growing up. Just afraid, is 
I am. Your face is just as white as mine is. I'm not going to make this ridiculous question. I'm really there. Nothing would surprise me the way this government is going down in West Mayo. We had a very intensive campaign, a very intensive canvas. And everywhere we went, we got a tremendous reception, particularly from the younger voters. Hold me close, don't let me go. Oh, no. You and me. Yes, I love it. We'll grow and grow. Shem Satira recognizes that values are enshrined in culture and tradition and that the development of culture and tradition means not merely the preservation of these values, but in fact their application to the living situation as it is at this moment of history. Oh, be close, don't let me go. I've always stayed here because I believe that well, it sounds silly, but I, I'm an Irishman. I belong here. This is where my roots are. My people are here. And I believe that an artist has to have a place that he belongs to. He has to have people he belongs to. And I think I can understand human nature better here. Every time I look into your eyes Things seem so different than before I think that it's a terrible tragedy. I think that the whole force at the moment uh, is shaken by it, and uh, when word of it spreads, it will even be more distraught. Hello, uh, I, I'm here about the washing. What? I'm here about the washing. The washing? I tell you, I, I, I'm yeah, in a bit of a rush, do you know? Hello, yeah. that's a nice uh, little Ronnie? fella. Ronnie, I, I'm in a bit of a rush, so if I could leave them now, I'll be back around 6 o'clock uh, to collect them. Would that be, that's a grand What's little girl, yeah. It, I'll be back around the 6 o'clock mark because I tell you, I am in a bit of a rush, do you know? And I can't be hanging around here talking all day. So if you'll take them now, you needn't iron them now.
and I'll be back in a few what minutes. What's you to do? Wash them. You must be joking. Wash I'll be back way. in a few... Well, I, I tell you now, I, I tell you, I'm in a bit of a rush. I'd love to stay around talking to you, but I tell you, I have to go off now and do a bit of work. But I'll be back around six. If you can have them for me, then now no wilder than them. That's the way. Unless Gargoyle's going to win, then Gargoyle's defeat. Then Tommy Carberry's going to become the first ruffian in history to win the Gold Cup standing the Irish National and the English Nationals. Unless Gargoyle's strikes here 12 years old to win the National for Raymond Smith. And here he comes to the line. Unless Gargoyle's a comfortable winner. I thought the school's arranged in since Tariq Elevens for free. You must be joking. Not this one, anyhow. It was four pints there, Sean. I've heard these trips are very educational. Is that so? Don't they get enough education out of these? Without ramming it down their throats on a Saturday afternoon as well? Dead right. Well, I don't know. Broadens the mind, they say. Makes the history come alive. Nothing like that in my day. Great what they do for the kids these days. But too flippin' quid, Frank. Trade or robbery. I mean, you can't go lashing out money. Every time a kid asks. I suppose so. Still, you won't get much for two notes nowadays. Hey, Jean. Some of the statements recently of at least one or two companies which have indicated to us that they feel that the labour costs here are going ahead or increasing far too much to a far greater extent than what they had originally anticipated and that they will only stay here as long as the tax-free holiday lasts here. Where are those happy days? They seem so hard to find. I tried to reach for you, but you have closed your mind. Whatever happened to our love, I wish I understood. The government, if they can't do anything else, they will have to subsidize the basic foodstuffs because women can't take any more of this inflation. So when you near me, darling, can't you hear me, SOS? The love you gave me, nothing else can save me, SOS. When you go, how can I even try to go on? When you go, I say this with reluctance. I say it simply because it's true. What is needed is a pause in the rise in incomes of all kinds. This is the present price for our future prosperity. Good night. So when you A fresh batch of 25 new recruits begin the process of becoming part of the Dublin Fire and Rescue Team with a new series of firefighters starting tomorrow night at 7 here on RTE1.